Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel this week. This week, we are going to be making dragon eggs. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but me and the queen of dragons sort of share a name. You know, Danny and Danny. So, I'm the mother of dragons too, and I would like to make some dragon eggs. I did get five because I'm, I'm probably going to mess up. I looked up several how-tos. I've got different types of media here, then different types of methods that I plan on using. I'm going to be using air clay, plastic wood, big foam sheet. I want to see which method works best. First thing we need to do, no matter what type of media I'm going to be using, I need to sand these eggs down. I have all five eggs sanded. I'm going to start with the air clay. For the egg, we are going to start with the bottom. We're going to get as much of this covered as we can, and then we will work on the top. Let's just take this. Why is it so dry and crumbling? We're gonna put that like that and we're just gonna try to like roll this bitty out. You need to roll more of this out, a lot more. I think the clay is gonna give me like the best product, but it is kind of a pain to work with. I'm not gonna lie, man. This may be where more of the water comes in handy. Get your finger wet and then just, oh, what? Holy cow, did that just make a huge difference? Okay, that's fun. I am probably, maybe, going to regret doing the top and the bottom at the same time and not letting one side dry. But that's kind of the point of this video is just to see what works and what doesn't. And hopefully by the end of it, I have five amazing dragon eggs. Cool. We're just going to let my hand prints texture up the bottom a little bit. Because <laughs> the bottom that is like calcified and doesn't really have the scales have become calcified on it. All right. Lots of fun with the dragon egg. All I did for the foam for the next egg that we're going to do, I took this big foam sheet and I cut out scales, large scales, medium scales, and small scales. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to work around and hopefully it's not too incredibly frustrating. The Mod Podge is not drying as fast as I would want it to. This is the problem with me. I'm too excited to see what these eggs are going to look like, so I'm going to keep whipping through this egg when I probably should just let it set and dry, but I don't have patience. I want to see what it looks like with all these scales on there. I probably should have got, like, different glue.
Mod Podge foam plastic combination did not work out. And I got a little frustrated. Sometimes that happens. So I went to the store and I got some rubber cement. Because when we were kids, you used rubber cement for everything and it always worked. Rubber cement and I, I needed this. I needed this. So we got this. Rubber cement for the win. This is what I needed to do hours ago. This is what we have. We will come back to it tomorrow, finish the top, and figure out how we're going to corrode the bottom up. Okay, now we've got day two of the dragon eggs. The clay egg is, for the most part, incredibly dry. There, there was some cracking. I have also started prepping for the second type of foam scales that I will be trying. So all I did with my foam, I laid them out like that on the foam, and then I just cut them into these pieces. It's a lot easier to trim them down after this. Here's large, medium, and small. So the small ones will go towards the top, these ones, the medium ones are going to be in the middle, and the large ones will be toward the bottom. Back to covering this egg. That's what we're working on now. This is all the further I'm going to be able to make it today with this one. I'm going to go in with the small individual scales that I'm going to cut out for the individual scale egg, which this one is turning into, but it really doesn't look bad so far. So now we are going to start on the individual scale egg. I've never worked with wood putty before, or plastic wood, wood filler. I keep calling it wood putty. I don't know if that's right. Huh. I guess just a thin layer of this. I think this, the glove on there was making a really cool, almost rock-like texture. Ah! Oh man, what just happened? No, come back. That actually wraps up, I think, today's extravaganza. We are on day three of our dragon eggs. The wood filler came out so great. So for today, we need to cover the top of this now. All these little peaks that it's making, I'm going to be able to sand those down. I'm not really worried about it. Yesterday, after I turned the camera off, I went over and it was just dry enough for me to sort of pat the peaks down, which was perfect. I feel like I just saved myself some time in the long run, you know? Right now, I want to work on filling in the cracks of my clay egg. I'm going to try to take this and cut it down to fit on top of that. I'm 
getting too excited and I want to start working on it today. So I'm just making a general triangle shape with the clay, dipping it in the water, smoothing out some of these edges. Okay, so I got my third layer of scales on. I know it's not much to look at now, but I'm really pleased with how this is coming out. This is day four of our dragon eggs. Everything is definitely dried and set. The wood filler egg is very nice and dry. So today, I'm actually going to sand down the top of this guy, and we will add our scales. Kind of looks like Fred Krueger's face. I mean, it's not completely perfectly smooth, but I think it's going. I think it's going to be good enough to do my rubber cement and scales. Put your rubber cement on, let it get tacky, and then put rubber cement on the back of your scales, let that get tacky, and stick them right on. These are probably all rules that. <laughs> We learned when we were kids playing with rubber cement that I have since forgotten. So let's start at that gap and count 1, 2, 21. So we're going to lay out 21 of these. I'm just going to keep repeating the process all the way up. It feels really good having an egg completely scaled out. I am so excited about this egg. It's a pretty strong contender. I really thought the clay was going to win the day, but after seeing this put together, I am, I am so pleased with this. I think medium would be good to start with. It looks like a Muppet compared to the detail on this one. Well, we are at day five now. So today we are going to put the wood filler on these and we're going to sculpt more scales. We're going to go ahead and start using the water and a rag and seeing how this smooths out. Not filled in. Filled in. I did pick up different clay. It is just far easier to mold and shape. Day five of my dragon eggs was incredibly successful. Here is the clay egg. It's got a dry and set still. My Muppet dragon egg. It looks a lot better than it did without the wood filler. So there's that one. And this is the one that I've chosen to be my three eggs. So I went on ahead and went on ahead and covered the bottom of my last two eggs in wood filler. So I'd really like to get as close to being able to paint tomorrow as possible. So I'm thinking if I wake up and get these primed and we dry for a few hours and maybe I can paint. I just want to paint them. I want to paint them. This is, I believe, day seven of working on the eggs. I did go ahead and prime. So I primed the Muppet egg and Drogon. I did just regular primer on the bottom, that's why they're two different colors, and then foam primer on top. I went on ahead, I, I did the, the other two. Got these scaled, got the putty put on them. I am pretty disappointed on the clay egg. 
I just touched it and it's just the, the white clay I don't think was meant for this purpose. So clay egg is a no go and at this point I just want to make my eggs. So I did want to try the different types of media and see like which one works better and which method worked better and I found the one I liked. However, this egg is not a total lost cause. Not in this video, obviously, but I am going to try to fix up this egg with the original clay that I used. We are going to paint Drogon's egg. If you were to purchase the Game of Thrones eggs in the store, a lot of people make his egg just like a, a red color. It's just red. But if you look at the pictures and you read the descriptions in the book, <laughs> I got the book. Uh, it, it's I interpret it as being more of a black color with red going through it. I think that's perfect. So my idea for doing this is I'm going to paint the entire egg red. Then I'm gonna go back over with the different types of black that I have. Two coats on Drogon, one coat on each of the Sarion and Rhaegals. I think we're on day eight. I've kind of lost track of the days, but at this point, who cares? Oh, look at what I have. They're not even done. I'm just so excited to see them in this form. I have two coats of paint on the red and the green. I only did one coat on this because I don't want it to be incredibly dark. I'm going to do my close-up cam to show how I'm putting the colors on these eggs. I am noticing that when I just did my downward strokes, it did leave a lot of these like gaps. So what I'm doing is just like a little diamond and filling that up. That looks much better going back through and filling in those larger gaps. Okay, now we're going to start on the Sarion. This green color shift paint is gorgeous. almost done painting. There's a few final touches I need to put on these guys. I need to add their metal colors, scarlet metal, bronze, and gold. But I kind of want it to be a surprise, so I'm not recording anymore until these eggs are finito. I'm so excited. I did it, guys. They're amazing. Yesterday, after I turned off the camera, I went in and added some detail to these. This one's my favorite. The Sarion turned out pretty cool too. And Trogon. I can't believe I made these. I feel like they're pretty true to the colors that you see on the show and the descriptions that I read from in the book. Pat and I were talking, we may also make the box that the eggs came in from the show when they were presented to Khaleesi. That, you know, will probably be another video in the future, but this was a lot of fun. It took a lot of work and a lot of patience, but it truly paid off. These are they're phenomenal. I can't stop looking at them, seriously. So, if you like this week's video, go ahead and click that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. And until next week, guys, keep on marching to the beat of your own drum.